Alright everyone, I am back. Sorry for that delay. Uh, it's actually probably going to have to be cut into two parts. And, um, I think I left off the melon slices. I'm just going to say that's where I left off. Alright, so. <coughs> Jeez. Still coughing, even though this is part two. Uh, the melon restores 1.2 saturation and two longer. The mushroom... Oh wait, this is also obtained from dun from dungeon chests you can get the melon seeds. You cannot actually find these naturally occurring in the world. Um other than in dungeon chests. And then you can farm them in a similar way to pumpkins. This is mushroom stew. It re restores seven point two saturation and six hunger. It is obtained from putting a bowl a red mushroom and a brown mushroom in the crafting grid. Shapeless crafting. You, you don't need to get any kind of design. This is a poisonous potato. I believe this can be obtained for a, as a rare... This is a rare drop along with carrots and regular potatoes over there. This is a rare drop from zombies. And it's also oh, some chance I get... Oh, I don't actually know what it is. Um, that when you harvest one potato plant that you'll get one to two poison, zero to two poisonous potatoes, I think it is. Maybe one to two, maybe zero to one. I don't know about poisonous potatoes. They're too new! And too obscure! And, um, yeah. There's our 1.2 saturation and two hunger. Not actually as much as the regular potato, which has 0.6 saturation and one hunger. And again, if you feel that there's anything I missed, wait till the end of the video to post a comment about it. Because, you know, it, I might have just not gone over it yet. And then you would have posted a pointless comment that you have to go and delete. Or if you walked away from the video before actually getting to this part, then you'll lose the comment and you won't be able to delete it because you don't know where it is. So just don't create that problem and don't post a comment until you're done with the video. And um, this actually has half the saturation recovery and half the hunger recovery of a poisonous potato. And that is because you can cook it in a furnace... Or it is obtained the same, the exact same way a poisonous potato is. There's just a larger chance of getting this one over a poisonous potato. And if you cook it, as I was saying, if you cook it in a furnace, then you will get a cooked potato, which you saw back there in the first part. Uh, sorry for this being kind of disorganized, you know. I would say it's not my fault, but it kind of is. Well, it actually only kind of is. Because what I was looking... I was just ordering this the same way that what I was looking off of was. Except for, you know, the cooked pork and steak and stuff. Those were actually put separately, and I don't even know why. Anyway, I'm getting too off topic. This is the pumpkin pie. I believe it is also shape... This is also shapeless crafting. A pumpkin, a sugar, and an egg in your crafting grid. It is 4.8 saturation and 8 hunger, which is as much hunger as a, um as uh, cooked pork or cooked steak, but not even half the saturation, so not as good as it seems. Here we have the raw chicken. It gives 1.2 saturation and 2 hunger. If you cook it, it is obtained from killing chickens, and if you put it in a furnace then, and cook it, then you can get cooked chicken, which I also explained back there in the first part. Um... Huh. Raw chicken and raw fish both have the same attributes, except when cooked, they have different attributes. Oh, the difference is the all the, the other difference is getting them. Raw fish is obtained from fishing. Kind of a mechanic that I don't see a whole lot of people doing in Minecraft, and I can completely understand why. So yeah, raw fish. You can put it in a furnace to cook and to get cooked fish, which again was in the last part. And it's the same as raw chicken. 1.2 saturation, 2 hunger. This is rotten flesh. You do not want to eat this. You just want to throw it out. Well, there's actually a certain mod, things like the kitchen's mod, that allows you to cook it, and it becomes significantly more useful. This gives you 0 .8, 0 0.8 saturation and 4 hunger. It is obtained from killing zombies. It's their main drop. This is... Um, 
spider eye. 3.2 saturation and 2 hunger. Yay, it's a lot better than this in terms of saturation. Which internally actually matters a lot. But it, you're not going to actually like die without it or anything, so don't worry. Um, this is obtained from killing spiders. You have to kill them. Like You can wield a weapon or you can use a bow or anything. But the spider has to be killed by a player. And then... Oops. Then it is a, uh, I hope you saw the saturation, because I don't know. Oh, yeah, I read that. Um, it is only sometimes dropped by spiders. Zero to one can be dropped. Also, uh, zombies can drop up to two rotten flesh. Oops. Uh... And now for the status effects. This is why I told you not to post a comment until both of the videos were done. Because this inflicts poison. Or these two inflict poison when you eat them. Spider Eye has a 100% chance and Poisonous Potato has a 60% chance. I did not put down the time. I'm very sorry. I think it's four seconds for both. But, uh, poison, well... I might make another Minecraft, a, scient or a scientific view of Minecraft about potion effects. I'll probably do that. Um, rotten flesh and cooked chicken, or raw chicken, rather, inflict hunger. Raw pork and steak don't inflict hunger, so you're safe for eating those. 80% uh, chance for rotten flesh to do it, and 30% chance for raw chicken to do it. And then, golden apples. Huh, golden apples. Good friend. Good friend. Uh, they give you regeneration 1 for 4 seconds. Oh, also, by the way, all of these, uh, how much hunger they restore now is how much health they restored before the adventure update. An exception, as seen here, being a golden apple. You saw how to craft them back there. Um... Rather than how they're crafted now, you had to use gold blocks rather than gold nuggets. At one point one in version one point one, not beta, obviously. It was changed. And before one point eight, these restored not even kidding when I'm telling you this. All of your health. It's not super worth the eight blocks of gold that it took you. That's seventy two ingots. And then, regeneration one, or, and, uh, that, huh, I saw something. And, then, they were changed in 1.8, I believe they restored five, I re believe they restored ten points of hunger. By the way, one little drumstick, one of those things, is two points of hunger, one half of it is one point. And, um, yeah. I, I don't know what version it was in, but then I think it was 1.9. It was changed, so it only restored 4 points rather than five, rather than 10. Is there 5 points or 5 oh, drumsticks? I, I forgot. And uh, now they give you... Now they take 8 gold nuggets and 1 apple. I told you how to craft them in the previous video. Go watch it. And... Uh, they give you regeneration one for four seconds. These. I cannot remember how long it was, so I actually had to eat one to test. This is an enchanted golden apple. This was new to 1.4. Maybe 1.3. I can't remember which one. Because uh, I had some hard drive problems, and my computer could not run for the entire duration of 1.3. And 1.3 point whatevers. I don't even know if they had any of those. <laughs> and, um, these are crafted the same way golden apples were crafted before 1.1. Full release. They required one regular apple in the middle and eight golden blocks surrounding it. However, these are quite worth it. They still, sadly, only recover four points of hunger. But, um, now they also give you regeneration four... For 30 seconds, which is amazing. Resistance 1 for 5 minutes. That takes out one fifth of the damage you'd normally be taking, which is pretty good. And fire resistance, it's the same for all levels. You're completely immune to fire 